Hello, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and in this video we will discuss the diet of a kidney failure patient. It is obvious the diet of a kidney failure patient is different from average person. But do you know the reason behind that? Well, the healthy kidneys clear out all the waste from the human body. But when the kidneys are damaged, they don't work properly. So the patient are advised to take a good care of the situation by maintaining their diet. A controlled diet has two motives. The first is to reduce the intake of base material to lower down the burden on the kidneys. And the second is to provide essential nutrients. The waste products produced by the, our body can be controlled by eating the right diet. But when the kidney fails to function, waste products like ketamine and urea accumulates instead of being flushed out from the body. Now, if the patient doesn't take care of the food, then there is a possibility that the creatinine and urea level will also increase. So diet plays an important role in controlling creatinine and urea levels. So let's start with this video and see how we can control creatinine by taking care of food. If you want to control creatinine, you need to understand what creatinine is. It is a waste material formed in the muscles, which is also a type of protein. Suppose a kidney failure patient takes more protein by eating pulses, non-vegetarian items and adding more milk products to the diet. Then creatinine level will also increase in the body and it will be reflected in the reports as well. So first thing any kidney failure patient should do is to either stop or reduce the amount of protein in the diet. If the amount of protein is in normal range in the medical report, then the kidney failure patient should avoid taking protein to reduce the formation of creatinine in the body. Avoid eating non-vegetarian and milk-based items. Now it depends on blood protein reports how much amount of protein you need to consume. If the total amount of protein is low in your medical report, then you need to increase the protein level because it also is a building block of the body and its deficiency will create other problems for the body. But we still need to stop eating non-vegetarian items like eggs, fish, chicken, mutton and start eating a vegetarian source of protein like pulses and legumes at least two to four times in a week because it doesn't create too much amount of creatinine. Now, another waste material that the body produces is urea. It has a lot of symptoms and if it starts to accumulate in the body, it creates more problem and the patients start to feel nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite and muscle fatigue. But urea is produced by the liver. So if you are eating heavy food items like high protein and fried food, more urea will be produced in the body. And as the kidney are not functioning well, instead of flushing out, urea will accumulate in the body along with the creatinine. And this can cause serious damage to the health of the patient. So by making slight changes in the diet, we can control urea level in the body. So I advise all my patient to avoid taking fried food and red meat like mutton, beef and chicken as they will cause an elevation in the level of creatinine and urea altogether. Now let's talk about potassium. It is considered to be more dangerous than the creatinine and urea as potassium gives strength and power to the muscles when it is in the normal limits. But the increase in the potassium level starts creating fatigue in our muscles and the most important part of our body is our heart. So potassium creates problem for the heart because it is made up of muscles only and a high potassium level creates fatigue in the heart muscles and makes the pumping slow. This condition can cause heart failure and even sudden death. So it is advised to consume potassium in limited amount. Well, our body doesn't produce potassium naturally, but the food we eat contains potassium. So the next question arises, how will you control potassium levels? Well, it is a fact that every food item contains potassium, but it depends on how much we eat. So we can select the food item which have low potassium levels. By doing so, we can control the level of potassium levels. Now let's talk about the food item that contains high potassium levels. Food items like banana, kiwi, avocado, dry fruits, dates, potato, green leafy vegetables and jaggery contains high potassium level. If you avoid these mentioned items, you can control the potassium level. And apart from this, 
you can eat other food items accordingly because they contains potassium in lower amount. Now I will give you a simple rule to select low potassium vegetables. Always avoid brown, rooty and green leafy vegetable. Brown rooty vegetable like potato, sweet potato and taro. A complete list of brown tuberous vegetable is here on screen. Please note them down. Similarly, we have to avoid green leafy vegetable like spinach, coriander, parsley as they contain potassium in high amount. In the description box of this video, I have left a link for a complete diet chart for the kidney failure patient. Visit there and select your food sensibly. Many kidney failure patients take the advice of doctor and consume vegetable after leaching. It is a good process for controlling the potassium in the food items. But there are some side effects of the leaching process too. By doing this, the food loses their vitamins and minerals along with the potassium. And if we eat leached food for a long time, it creates a weakness in the body because of deficiency in the vitamins and minerals in our diet. So it is advised to start the leaching process when the potassium level is high and avoid it when your level of the potassium is in the normal range. Well, we have controlled the creatine, urea and potassium with the help of diet. But another thing that is very important is sodium. We all know salt contains sodium and it is the biggest reason for the high blood pressure. So reducing sodium has two benefits. By reducing sodium, blood pressure will be controlled and the swelling in the foot also start to reduce because the excess amount of salt in the body promotes fluid accumulation which is very dangerous for a kidney failure patient so it is better to use salt in a limited amount but there are a lot of salt products in the market like black salt rock salt sea salt you can use normal sea salt or table salt but make sure the amount of the salt should be one pinch one pinch in each meal one more thing I want to tell you, if you are a kidney failure patient, you need to stop having oranges, mangoes and grapes in your diet because they are acidic in nature, they are citric in nature. In a kidney failure patient, the creatinine level is high and by eating acidic food, the blood will become more acidic and creates problem in the damaged kidney. In a kidney failure patient, we have to control a condition which is called metabolic acidosis. In this condition, the acid which is earlier used to get excreted by the kidney through urine start accumulating in the body along with the creatinine and urea. This accumulated acid makes the blood more acidic. And when the, this acidic blood enters in the kidney for filtration, it causes huge damage to the kidney. And creatinine and urea start increasing even after taking all kinds of measures. Now I hope you have understood how we can control the level of creatinine, urea, potassium and sodium in a patient of kidney failure with the help of diet. If you have any kind of doubt query regarding kidney failure or how we can lower down the level of creatinine and urea, you can simply mail your reports on the email address given below. Our doctors will help you out. With this, allow me to say goodbye. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.